Hey guys, Clarice here, and today I am watching Iron Claw, the new film starring Zac Efron. I believe it's about a boxing family, boxing team or so. That's about the extent of my knowledge of this movie. I have just heard really, really good things, and it just came out on digital, so I thought that it would be nice to check it out. It's been a bit that I haven't seen a movie that I'm walking in kind of blind. If you guys like any of my videos, consider subscribing to this channel where we watch movies and react to them. You can give this video a like if you enjoyed this kind of content, and if you're interested in further support, I do have a Patreon where I offer full-length reactions to all of my videos. So with all of that, let's just get into it. Okay, we are gonna be in for something really intense. Okay. Oh! <gasps> Jesus! <gasps> no, no way. Oh my god! <gasps> Is that why he's the Iron Claw? Stop, no. Oh my god. He's not letting go. I don't know, that seemed... That was a lot. Is that thing attached to our home? Oh no. I had the boy swap it out during the show. I was talking to the promoter. No, no, no. You are not managing money right, are you? Poor family. How much does it cost? Oh it's boy. It's gonna be fine, Dottie. Oh, just blowing a bunch of money on a fancy car. Get us a house. Yeah, it doesn't. It's gonna be the toughest, the strongest, the most successful, the absolute best. That's some really formative talk. I will be the NWA World Heavyweight Champion. Oh. And nothing will hurt us ever again. We've That's a lot for everything. those kids. I don't believe this is gonna go well for them at all. <sighs> all right, grown kid. Damn, he got in shape. I don't want to call it, but it looks like he may have needed some help with how fit he is. Zac Efron, I mean. He sure as heck looks like a heavyweight. Ever since I was a child, people said my family was cursed. Hmm. But bad things kept happening. Pop tried to protect us with wrestling. He said if we were the toughest, the strongest, the most successful. Told you that was some formative stuff to tell to a kid. I believed it. And we loved wrestling. Mm. Just can't get over how fucking jacked he is. I mean, I, I've seen... I, I'm just saying this because I have seen Zac Efron in prime physique in some of his other films, but this is kind of another level of just how much mass he was able to build up. As someone who enjoys working out and enjoys understanding fitness and is trying to get back on that track, Sometimes physiques like this, particularly for Hollywood, are not exactly achievable to the average person. And sometimes they can be rather dangerous. So it's just looking at his body type, just, I, I have a little concern, but I think that'll be it that I mention it for now. Uh, Cause I want to be able to continue enjoying the reaction without just thinking about that. Um, but I really did have to address it just because I'm like, it's one side impressive, but also I'm just like, it, are you healthy? <laughs> that's that's really it. It's just because every freaking muscle in his body is defined. Like him just like him just moving his arm looked painful to me because it was like every like triadic like muscle was moving because it was that defined. And I'm like, Jesus. But I completely understand. He's playing a heavyweight. It only makes sense to be in this prime of shape. It is very impressive. I just hope he was healthy. <laughs> Oh, God! Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. He's gonna get him. Yup. Mmm. So, more of a wrestling. I said boxing to begin with. This is far more wrestling and heavyweights. They have a house now. Mike, you need to start hitting the weights more, kid. You're growing well, but you need to bulk up, get some strength in those arms. So I was about to say, I'm like, he's so bulky. The rest are lean. Mike's fine. The kid won't be able to defend himself. Mm. Carrie is about to become the family's first Olympian. Kevin is the NWA Texas champion. David is about to make his ring debut. Oh, it's time for you to start thinking about what you're going to be. Mm. 
feeding that many boys i i i can't help but just think for the mom because i know i clocked those two refrigerators immediately and i'm like this woman has like it looks like maybe five men growing in her house four growing boys that's so much fucking food that has to be so much food especially because like one's bulking the others are like athletes oh my gosh it's just so much food to cook so much in the day i talk to you about something baby that's what your brothers are for bruh no, but dang I mom won't be late dad's too tough on my mom you gotta say something please kevin that's between them now go you're 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 his mom dang she seems checked out Oh boy. Homie wants to be a musician, maybe? Kevin Von Erich here, and he's scheduled to fight in a tag team match later on tonight against Gino Hernandez. That's right, Bill. First off, I just want to say that Gino, you've been running that mouth of yours way, way too long. Do I have something special for you tonight, buddy? Can we just do what you want? Yeah, absolutely. Take it from the top, okay? Mm -hmm. Oh gosh, the performance aspect of wrestling. I did grow up with my grandfather loving the WWE. This is a little bit more of what I know. You've been shooting your mouth up, shooting your shoot, shooting your mouth. Shit. Sorry. <laughs> if it's so easy, you get up here and do it then. Yeah, I mean, I'd love to, but that would kind of ruin the surprise. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anytime I hear Don't Fear the Reaper, I can't help but want it with more cowbell. Just, I can't unironically hear this song. It really could use more cowbell. Mm. He's gonna drive you to the corner, stay there. I'm gonna be coming in, take the post. And I'm gonna go straight up top, so don't leave me there too long. Mmm. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, hey, Lily James. Can I get your autograph? Thanks. <clears throat> oh, don't you want to ask me who to make it out to? Oh, yeah. It's Pam. Hi, Pam. Oh, sorry. Uh, it is nice to meet you, Pam. <laughs> it's nice to meet you, too, Kevin. Your folks not teach you how to ask questions? Yeah, no, probably not. Are you asking me out? I've just never been asked before. Uh, well, hopefully it'll go well, and then no one else will have the chance to ask you again. Smooth. And we have a world heavyweight champion in our roster. We could be the biggest promotion in wrestling. Mm. Oh, we'll have a world heavyweight champion. I can promise you that. What do you want in life, Kevin Von Eric? More ribs? I want to be world heavyweight champion. Well, can you just explain that to me? Because it all just fake. Fake? There's nothing fake about what we do. Prearranged. Written. She's, she's making the right questions. Look, promoters keep you moving up. If you do well, if you reach the top, you become world champ as a reward. Is that all you want? I want to be with my family. Mm. You know, be with my brothers. Just being together. We can do anything. Mm. What about you? Well, I want to be a vet. I want kids. I want my own practice. I want a man who's okay with that. Well, okay. Would you be okay with that? <laughs> oh, damn right I would. <laughs> mm -hmm. We could have our own ranch. Everyone could come live with us, all my brothers, their families. Okay, you have oldest brother syndrome. Yeah, you want to take care of everyone. I'm not the oldest though. There we go. When I was five, my big brother, Jack Jr., he died. <gasps> and as a kid, he just, uh, he just wasn't there to play with one day. Hmm. So I'm not the oldest. I must have the uh, the second oldest brother syndrome. But he's now the remaining eldest. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I like Pam's candor. She reminds me a lot of Southern women I grew up with that are very sweet but very direct and honest. But you never heard of the curse of the Von Erics? <laughs> no. Okay, here's the curse. Explain it. My dad changed his last name to Von Eric. It was my grandma's last name. Okay. And I don't know, I guess her family had all sorts of tragedy. So when my brother died, people started saying that it was his curse. 
That's fucked up though. How do you just see a family that is now burying their child and then be like, oh, maybe you're just cursed. The fuck? <laughs> fuck you, man. Your first match will be a non-title, but if you put a whooping on it, show the world who you are and what you can do, you will become the number one contender and get your title shot. Mm. Thank you. I, I will make you so proud. And here we go, folks. You can feel the excitement here at okay. the world famous sportatorium in downtown Dallas, Texas. As that man right there, local hero, Kevin Bonner, <laughs> faces his. <laughs> Yeah, okay. <laughs> Something very small. But I happen to know that Zac Efron stands at a 5 feet 8 inches. And is the fact that Kevin Von Erich says there's, that he's 6'2". I'm sure the real Kevin Von Erich is 6'2". But you mean to tell me they're trying to make little, little old Zac 5 foot 8 Efron look like he's 6'2". <laughs> like... You know what 62 looks like? <laughs> in 62 countries around the world. Mm. All lining up a big shot and it. And nice. Nice. Kevin again off the ropes. Nice. He knocks down the old oak tree holy race for the I mean the man is pure muscle. I could imagine even if the other guy is bigger than him, I'm like with the right amount of force, that's like 200 pounds of pure muscle coming at you. Mmm, dang. Stop, no. No way. <gasps> oh my God. <gasps> oh my God. Shit, does he fuck? Get up, get up, get, 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 get up, come on. Oh my god. Damn. Oh my god. That's dirty. As race gets him into yet another suplex. Kevin spins out. Oh! Hell yeah! Let's go, Kevin! Okay! Oh shit! He's the better performer. He's the better talker. Kevin's the muscle. And my brother here put a good old fashioned Texas whooping on you. You are the past, my friend. You were long getting up. Yeah, I just never hit the floor that hard before. You gotta take it and get up. Oh, I know. This is how they test you. Mm. It's fucked up. Did I do enough to get my rematch? Of course you did. We'll see. Those rap bastards will use any excuse they can to screw us over. That sucks. Aw, oh, man. Oh, okay. Here's Carrie. Wait, is Carrie the dude from the bear? Nice. <laughs> nice. I haven't seen the bear. I just know the guy. <laughs> I hear it's great, though. If you guys want me to check out the bear, I'll do it on the show. I just don't know. Uh, I'll do it on the channel. Just don't know how it'll perform. and the quality of the Olympics, not destroying it for the sacrifice that you'll have to make this summer and not going to Moscow for the Summer Olympics. Shit. Man. It's going to the Olympics. Hey, Harry. Man, this family really does remind me of growing oh, up in the oh, South. Harry. Sorry it didn't work out. Huh? Damn. Me too, son. Damn. This Damn. sucks. Hey, hey, boy, Aww. You're the fastest in the family, Cap. No one could ever catch you. 
I gotta commend all of the actors. They've done a great job at building the camaraderie between the brothers. I mean, they've done a really great job. I'm just smiling. I just feel like I'm watching, like I'm a part of this family. It's such a great job. Hey, Pam. <laughs> put that down, someone else will pick it up. Yes, sir. Hey, what do you play? Oh? Lots of things. Um, piano, small instruments. Musical like his father. When I what? Was my father, he was classically trained on the clarinet. And what? Scholarship to University of Texas. <laughs> wow. But he gave it up to play football. He decided there was no future in music. I chose mm -hmm. sport, and I was right. He used to play the most beautiful pieces for me when we first dated. Oh, uh -huh. such a that's sweet. We ha we actually have a gig. Michael, that's great. When? Well, it's tonight. The answer is no. I mean, it could be dangerous, but I think they're gonna sneak out and do it anyway. Oh, hey, Pam. Are you helping them? Oh. <gasps> Oh my god! <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh my gosh! Okay! Well done, boy. Okay. Oh. God damn. <laughs> nice. Man. Just a family of jacked boys. Like we're a lot. Yeah, that family is a lot. Hmm. Really? Yeah. I'm curious to see where the story's gonna go, because I feel like a lot of this good can't last, but I don't, I don't know. Gary, I don't know if you've been thinking about your future. You should think about wrestling. But the Olympics has been taken from you, the way professional football was taken from me. Mm -hmm. The world keeps taken from us. I want you to join your brothers in the ring. Yes, sir. I love that. That sucks to think that so many opportunities came to this family just taken from them by things outside of their control. That, that really, that really sucks. Oh, God. Train a little bit. Woo! But they'll get to be together, and that's the good thing. They all love each other. They want to be together. <laughs> hey. Wow, look at him. Nice. Nice. It's about Georgia versus Texas, and it isn't. It's about filth versus decency, and you know it. Six-man tag team champions, mm. the fabulous Freebirds! I can't fully diss them. They're from Georgia. <laughs> Two on one on Kerry. <gasps> oh, no, but Kerry flips Buddy Ooh, nice. Kerry Take him. Ooh. Kerry What's he going to do with him? Here comes Damon and a drop kick. Nice. Great. Well done, guys. Yay! And every other territory out there in the NWA, David Von Erich will be the next NWA World Heavyweight Champion. I'm so nervous it's not going to happen now because he did that. Each and every one of my sons. Starting with Kevin, then Kerry, then Mike. Sure he doesn't mean me first. Pops make mistakes like that. Yeah. That's not that's not ending well. I I'm calling that's not going well and I'm nervous. Finally getting a world heavyweight title shot with Ric Flair. Okay. And they want it to be you, David. Fuck. Don't look to your brother. Mm. This is your time. 
Then you'll go to Japan. You can't be world champion unless you win over Japan. It's so demanding of these boys. But I mean, like, it's their life. It's what they know. No. Mm. That is weighing on David. Yep. Who is it? Already? David? Shit, brother. You alright? Yeah, yeah. You need to see a doctor. No, I'm fine. <gasps> You're not fine. No, it's just a bug I picked up on the road. Don't worry about it. <sighs> no. I don't think you should go to Japan next week. I just love being out there with you guys. It's the only thing that matters to me. He just likes being with his brothers. I'll be pretty happy to focus on my family, though. That would turn out as a shotgun, wouldn't it? You rat bastard. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. Oh, man, that makes me so happy. Mm. Mm. Gonna be an uncle? Yes, sir. Gonna be an uncle, all right. Yeah. Until it's arrived. Early in the I love that she looks when she puts a little effort into her appearance. Bitch? No, what happened? Pop, what is it? David. What happened? He died in his hotel room in Japan. Stop! No! No! Are you serious? A ruptured intestine. <gasps> oh my god. How does that happen? Take those sunglasses off. No hiding. Mm. And I don't want to see any tears. The fuck? Oh! The Lord decided it was time for David to move on. Kev, sorry I sent this to the house. I couldn't remember your new address. I miss you, brother. Someone asked me for an autograph today because they thought I was you. It made me very happy. I'll probably be home by the time you get this, so this is stupid, but just wanted to send it. See you soon. Our greatness will be measured by our response to adversity. Now, David's title match against Ric Flair at Parade of Champions is a moment of a lifetime. We still have a chance to bring the World Heavyweight Championship home if one of you will step up and wrestle in his place. I can do it, Dad. I can do it, too. You don't have to. It's my match. No, I deserve it, too. Hey, boys, what? we're going to flip a coin. It's the only fair way to decide. Heads for Carrie, tails for Kevin. Carrie got up. That sucks. Hmm. It's so eerie. How you doing? I can't believe it's finally in our family. Yeah. You know what, I think I'm gonna go for a ride or something. What if you died too, Carrie? Nope. Nope. No. No, this isn't happening. Again. No. No. Movie! Don't get more depressing. I was waiting for that. Hey, that doesn't mean anything, all right? Twist it again. It can mean something. Headlock. Mm. Now he's trying to coach him. He's still a little scrawnier. Okay. 
shit, did you pull a shoulder? Shit, now what happened to Mike? We completed the surgery as planned. We repaired the shoulder, but it was trickier than we anticipated. We believe he suffered toxic shock syndrome. I'm sorry to say that Mike is in a coma. What the fuck is up with this curse? Oh my god! This poor family! Why is this happening to us? Why? That's a good question! Why does it just keep happening? Why does that keep happening? But it's accident after accident after accident. We're all just so excited that Mike pulled through. After losing David, it's just, it's too much to think that we almost lost Mike too. He's gonna be back in the ring in no time. No, that's some traumatic brain injury right there. At least neural damage, something like that. Oof. Oof, man. I'm scared, Ma. Mm. Not David. Mm -mm. Everybody wants me to be David, but I can't replace him. Because he's not David. Okay, maybe he has recovered better than I thought. <gasps> or maybe not. Nope, nope, no, 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 no. Okay, I'm complete. No! No! I'm sorry if I hurt you, but I'm going to a better place. Man. I don't know. I hesitate to say he's checked out. In my mind, I thought I'm like, buddy's checked out, but I don't feel... I feel like it's just, it's so much tragedy. It's so much trauma. I still don't fully know exactly how old Kevin is meant to be, but it's just so much pent up trauma, this resentment of just never achieving what he was conditioned to want and now losing all the things that have ever mattered to him. And it doesn't seem like he's really been able to channel it in any way that's healthy. It's just, it's just so sad. And I hate the fact that their dad still pushes them in spite of all of this adversity. I'm like, yes, you can push through adversity, but you're going to crack eventually. Unless you can be vulnerable. Like all of this, they've been turned to toughen up and exude maximum performance and force it's just a lot world's heavyweight champion because i am the greatest wrestler alive today the toughest wrestler alive today i have bled and sweat for this title and no daddy's boy is going to take that from me that's why i'm the world's heavyweight champion and i can go through kevin von eric or any von eric and worse Day of my life. What if he fails? I'm nervous he's gonna fail. Oh! He's not doing it. He's not breaking the hold. Damn. It's just, it's a cycle. It's a cycle. 
It's a cycle from their dad. This family will never be enough, no matter what they do. It's a cycle, generationally, that was created in by their father. You did it, and what you... Happened, Ken? And you messed it up. <laughs> you are crazy, you are one crazy son of a bitch. I mean, I always thought you were a little soft, but I'll give you a rematch any day. Let's get a drink. Oh, I'm, I'm good, thanks. Come on, son. Oh, is he gonna maybe finally be more of a family man like he wanted to now that it's gone? <laughs> like full of carbo loading. We need to make a change. We need a bigger boat. <laughs> Jerry called again this morning. It's a good offer. We should think about it. Maybe he will take it for his family. And by that I mean directly for his children and wife. Hey, Dad. So, we have an offer on the table from Jerry Jarrett. We can't fit in that apartment anymore. If you sell, you can forget about stepping through these doors again. Damn near almost 40 years old, still can't take care of yourself. If he can't take care of himself, it's because of you. It's literally because of you. He was not able to get away from any of this world because of his dad. Yeah! a boy, Carrie. That's how you do it. He looks strong, son. WWF Intercontinental Champion. Second biggest title in wrestling since your brother ruined our promotion. Knew it was time to retire Here. when I did. Here. Yeah. God damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dad, I got you on. God damn. I got damn. you on for Christmas, and I, just, I, I don't want to wait. I want to give it to you now. That's, uh, that's for you. Uh, that's a, a Smith & Wesson 357 25th anniversary. Chekhov's gun. I'm calling that as a Chekhov's gun. I don't want it to be, but that's what that seems like. That shit seems like a fucking Chekhov's gun to me. It's beautiful, son. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. What are you doing? You got to shoot that. Oh, I don't want to shoot it now. Well, you always shoot a gun when you get it. I don't want to shoot it, Carrie. What is wrong with you? Well, me? What's wrong with him? Mm, something's off. Something's off. Hey, man. <laughs> oh, mm. fuck's sake, be on. Uh, I'm in some hotel in Dallas. Why didn't you go home? You okay? No, I'm scared, man. No! No! Be there for him! I'm scared. I'm out of control. Be there for him! No one was there for Mike! I'm in pain. They're not giving me a new contract. Well, they got me in house shows from now on. I need someone. Be there for your brother! Be there for your brother! No, I need family. Be there for your brother! He's in me now. He's got a hold of me. These boys never learned how to properly emotionally regulate or handle these feelings. Hello. Dad. Dad. I just talked to Carrie. He's in a pretty bad state. I'm gonna come out there. We need to figure out how to help him, okay? You boys need to work it out between yourselves. Just look out for him. Okay, Dad? Is the passive pick yourself by the bootstraps mentality in cases like this that's infuriating? I'm like, is, is the parents not... I'm gonna blame the story of these parents in this movie. It's the parents not being parents. All of their, so much of their love, both the dad and the mom at certain points from what I've seen in the story, these parents, their love has been conditional. So much of these kids and these boys' lives, it's what drives them to this point. If they can't perform, then there's there's nothing more they can do, which is so fucking sad. I hate that they're like, nope, y'all discuss it between yourselves. Fuck, you're the parent. They're your children. And I would assume, based on what this movie has shown me, they're not doing it all the time. These kids aren't having fucking hissy fits all the fucking time. When they're fucking, they're fucking there. Help them, goddammit! What happened now? <gasps> I told you! I told you! 
Stop! No! I told you to look out for him! You didn't take care of him! You didn't take care of any of them! He called you, and you didn't help him! Fuck you! Fuck the dad, you're their fucking dad! Should have been a goddamn parent! It's not a curse, you're the fucking curse. Their dad is the fucking Iron Claw. In control of everything until it was all gone. Don't do it though, don't kill your dad. There you go. Man. The eldest survived all of his brothers. Even the actual eldest brother. Oh my word. I don't know what's on the other side, but I can't be here anymore. Tonight I walk with my brothers. Hey, brothers. Hey, brothers. Hey, Mikey. Hey, where's Jack Jr.? <laughs> <laughs> must be my oldest brother, Jackie. It's so nice to meet you. Just so you know, your dad called me out to his ranch, trying to intimidate me out of buying this from you. Yeah, that sounds like something he would do. Stops. That sounds like exactly something he would do. Well, glad it didn't work. Yeah. Good. Well, it's a poison. It's a poison on their yeah. family. What are you doing? Mm. What's for dinner? I didn't make anything. <laughs> Cook for your own damn self. Marshall. Man. It's just so much. It's so much. <laughs> you okay, Dad? Lee, I'm sorry. Teach him that it's okay. You shouldn't see me like this. Teach them that it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. I'm sorry, boys. It's okay, Dad. You can cry. Everyone cries. Do you think you know why you're sad? Oh, kid. Let me tell you. <laughs> I guess it's because I used to be a brother. And uh, I'm not a brother anymore. Oh, well. You'd be your brother's dad. Yeah, Dad. We'll be your brothers. <laughs> it's so sweet. Thank you, boys. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it looks like they got to have their little ranch. Wow. Wow. Oh. At the very, very end of the credits, there's an in memory of all the brothers. Alrighty, guys, that was the Iron Claw. And I'm obviously an emotional mess at the end of that. That was, that was a great film. It was a very, very good film. I see why people are really enjoying it. I'm just kind of letting myself in sit with it. I'm looking forward to reading more of you guys' insightful comments, hopefully, about the Von Erich family, as this film may be more interested in kind of the, at least the history of the impact that the brothers were able to make and to know more of them, just so that in some way their memory can continue to live on. And it's... 
it's just so tragic. I'm just sitting with it. I'm I'm just sitting with it and I'm just like in awe of just it's so much. It's just so much. I think it goes without a doubt. All the performances are incredible, but I think the most the biggest thing to commend is for me on a first watching is really just the beauty of that camaraderie of the family just the brothers you could just tell that how much they loved each other but they're still siblings like you know they they fought for daddy's attention they fought for daddy's love and validation and all these things and they all felt like it was only this one way and the vice was wrestling but the vice was an open door to so many other vices that led them to so many other darker paths because of this fucking iron claw that was their dad and the conditional love that came from him and the might and everything that was taught onto them and as much as they achieve the claim and success what the heck does it matter in the end when you don't have the people you love with it you know so i just i'm sitting with that i am appreciative to enjoy this i think this is definitely something that makes me want to call my family and my yeah it makes me want to call my relatives and just tell them i miss them and that i love them this is that kind of movie i hope in some cathartic way you guys enjoyed me experiencing it i hope that this pays off in me watching it and that my suffering connected with you all but all in all it's just such a tragic story and at the end i think they do the most they can to make it slightly hopeful like just hoping for something better in the end and that's what i want to take from it in the end and to know that like kevin and pam got their nice little ranch at the end and that their family that their children and their children's children all kind of get to live happily or at least presumably happily <laughs> like just any note of getting to be with your family like he always wanted is just like i hope that's good for them i hope that's good for them and i hope that you guys in some way cathartically were able to enjoy this um and as i always wish for you guys please remember every person ever out there you that are watching you deserve love joy happiness and all of the wonderful things in life you deserve it simply because you exist you don't have to prove yourself in any way to be deserving of love and joy and happiness it is within you, you have it, you've got it, you deserve it. So I wish it for you. And I hope that you all have a lovely day and that I will see you guys next time. So if you want to keep watching videos, maybe something happier over here. Or if you want to continue crying, maybe check out this one over here. So I hope that you all go on to have a great day. Take care, everybody. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.